Welcome back to The Seven Deadly Sins Anime Review, episode number 37. This one I'm discussing the 83rd episode of the anime of the fourth season, Dragon's Judgment, Hope, Discord, and Despair. This one adapts from one page of chapter 272. Yes, it was definitely for the last bit of the episode. Most of this episode comes from chapters 281, 282, and most of the second half of chapter 292, with the exception of the last three pages of the chapter. And they go through the entirety of pretty much the chapter of 294, except they kind of switch some stuff around here. Yes. Now, this episode does conclude the conflict of Elizabeth, Gother, Diane King versus Mel. Yeah, that's concluded this episode. Where, basically, Gother basically decides to... Well, first we show off the fact that King's got a new form. He is much taller. He's got his voice is deeper. His hair is longer. And he basically has where his chastiful can form several different spear forms. At least four in this one episode alone. Like, I think it was like first, eighth, and fifth, per se. Yeah, one was Guardian, Chastiful, which is basically a sword, and the Garden. Yes. And he also like Mel, and blocks at a certain point, but they can't exactly stop him, per se. So Gothar steps in, jumps right on top of Mel while he's falling, because the commandments are still like, killing him. So he proceeds to go into his mind... And basically convinced basically to expel the commandments. And he asks, like, why did you use to me? And basically, Goth uses his power to look into his memories. And there's a woman who looks exactly like the, the doll Gothor. And there's a reason why he looks like her. Because that woman was the sorcerer Gothor's lover. And Mel killed her. So that was the reason why he was chosen to do what he did. But Gothor himself, the one people made with the doll, he's not the one who did it. It was his creator, the sorcerer Gothor. And I don't think of interesting, he does expel the character from his body, and Mel is pretty much sort of normal, despite the fact that he did some terrible things. We do see a bit of an alteration, basically, order of events. Now, before we get to what happened with Merlin and Merlin Estor and their group, along with King Bond and the Demon King. Now, Melios, Bon, and Wild. We pretty much have a bit of alternative sequence where... First we have basically where everybody's like on the ground. And they're waiting for Mel basically to make a decision basically if he's going to go with him or not. We see that... We, we see a tree grow right next to Kit... Right next to Hawk. Grows really fast. And then you have King just doing this the whole time. Not moving a muscle, just chatting. And then he proceeds to <laughs> do something quite interesting. He apparently grows the tree up really high, chops the branches along with the leaves, and makes himself a new set of clothes. Yes, no longer the child look that he has. Oh no. Let's have him wear dress shoes and pretty much dress like he's from like the 19th century. And if you're curious, though, this is the look he would maintain for pretty much the rest of the series. Yep, so, look he had when he first showed up, that look is no more. Yep, because his wings are matured, he pretty much goes up with a more mature look. And then we actually have a sequence that actually was early on in Chapter 294. Yeah, the whole sequence of getting the Alpha 294 as well. This is done after that, even before the manga, this is done before that point. Basically, you have Mel walking over to Dedery and Ozong. He is King's pet. And he activates the spell to reincarnate them, who remembers him, everything, and all about punish, whatever. And Liz is like, please come with us to Camelot. And he's like, okay. Yeah. And then we have a brief scene here, a couple really good moments here, where basically, where everybody's pretty much recovered and. The I think what was her name? She's the older sister. I think it's um it's M. It's Elizabeth's older sister. What is her name here? I know it's Lars Seal. 
Yeah, Larsiel's the one who's possessing her. Margaret. Yeah, Margaret. Mm -hmm. Also, we have Nadja, who is Batra's sister. Yeah, we have a brief thing with her before Gother does the thing when he does. Where he pretty much in the way... Yeah, he pretty much hugs Nadja, confirms the fact he loved her when she was alive. Doesn't mention to her that she's an aunt. Has three nieces, one of whom looks at is a spinning image of her. Yeah, doesn't mention that to her at all. Or the fact that he mentioned he's with our friends. One of his friends just happens to be his younger, her younger, youngest niece, Elizabeth. Yep. I'm like, really? You don't bother to mention that to her? Yeah, I get the fact that this is an illusion of Naja. You at least mention the fact that she's an aunt of three beautiful women who all who also basically all have very handsome boyfriends. Two of whom have me freaking cousins. Yep. So, then we have a couple really... We have one really interesting moment here. It sets up what we're going to happen next to the episode. We see Kresnik and Chandler. Where Zeta was needs to save his battle for the, the last bit. So, they decided to merge. You are thinking, merge? Why the world would they do this for? Yes, they are merging to form the, the first demon the sinner. Yeah, they mention it by name. But in the manga, they mention the name after the transmission. I'm gonna sh I'm not gonna show what the thing looks like. I'll show it off next week episode, but wow. They do this. And then the episode ends got a weird note where Wild just attacks the Demon King. And we don't see what happens next. That's when the episode ends that one that one little bit basically where they, they convince yeah. Tell Tells tells me you know, bond time attack now, and yeah, and he just attacks himself, and that's where the episode ends. I'm like, really? You just have by having one page of chapter two seventy two, you know, we finally go back to this business. We, we we finally go back to this chapter after excuse me about four or five episodes, and we just have like one page. Seriously, whatever. Yep, we're probably going to finish up the Purgatory Star presumably next week. It's possible they might do that. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping they do that. And I'm also hoping that they actually show up what the original looks like in the animation for. <sighs> I hope so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's... It's it's overall a really good episode and just good. Okay, so that's it for this particular review. Tomorrow's reviews are basically before. Dr. Stone, the Contessa Quintuplets, and movie review discussing the third and final film of the Blade Tr Trilogy. And if I get a chance, I'll probably discuss the first Spider-Man movie. Yes, I'm moving to Spider-Man after that. Okay, to the next video. Bye.